Good afternoon people, today we are going to be reviewing this and this is the 38 litre DeWalt stainless steel wet and dry vacuum and I did get this from Costco, you can get it online for the price of £90 but if you saw my short, I actually picked it up for a little bit less and I only paid £78 for it. Right, so that is everything out of the box, I believe. But they was all inside the drum. You see the drum is now empty and it's nice and shiny. But there is this on the bottom because it keeps making noises. Look, I'm not really sure what this is for, but we'll find out what it's for. But everything else that comes inside the box, we have got one attachment, two attachment, that's a brush one, three attachment, four attachment, and technically speaking, you've got these ones as well. So you've got these three as well, so like you would connect that to that, and it gives you a small nozzle. We have got two extension pieces here as well, as you saw, they connect together. We have got the four wheels that I need to put on, they also come with the four screws as well. And for the hose, all that does, you just fit this straight into here like that. Oh, try not to drop anything while you're doing it. And then you can clip everything onto the end like so. We do only get one dust bag that comes with it, albeit it is a massive dust bag, but you do only get one. You have got the bag for the attachment, which kind of sits on the side of the vacuum, you know, when you're using it. And for the actual motor and filter itself, so this is the filter, this is the motor in here. To undo that, you twist it like so, and then you've got to pull it off. So, you know, you take it off if you're using it for you know, as a wet vac or as a dry vac. But yeah, that is, I believe, everything that comes in the box. So let me flip it over and I will put the wheels on. Once we've got the wheels on, it should look something like this. And because they're rubber, they uh, glide really well, actually. So I think that's pretty good. There is also this rubber strap on here that like clips up here. And I'm not sure if that's possibly to store the hose on. I'm not really too sure, but yeah, so that is on there as well. And once you've got the accessory bag on the back, this is what it looks like. And that is the exhaust port for the um, air. But I did forget to say, I got this from Costco, as I said. So I'm not sure if the warranty is slightly different because usually you have to register all your tools online to get your warranty. But with this one I bought from Costco, it doesn't say I have to register it online. So if you do get this, just check your booklet to see if you need to register it for your warranty. Right, I'm going to show you a bit of a comparison. This is an old Hetty. This is used for building work. We've had it for a few years. That's why it's tatted up. So it might have lost a bit of its suction capabilities. And this is also the older type where you have to press this button here to get like the turbo suction. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up this bottle of champagne. I know, fancy pants Charlie, eh? But let me show you the suction differences. So this is the first setting and then that's the turbo setting. So if I put that on here, I hold it down for a few seconds and I try and pick it up. I can't. See? It does hold it to it, but it can't pick it up. The only difference with the DeWalt is that it only has an on and an off button. So there isn't like a slow suction or a fast suction. So when it's on, it's on, it's off, it's off. But let me show you. The, the, the other difference is this thing is so much louder than this. this. This is really loud. I'm not comparing these, I'm just saying. So let me show you this. Admittedly, I'm not really sure what that's showing. I was only just trying to prove to you of how strong the sucking capability was of the DeWalt. But nevertheless, if you do drop your bottle of champagne down the side of the city, buy yourself a wet vac and you can pick it up. Right, we're now in the front of the Kia, and as you can see, it does need a, a good old clean. But what I'm gonna show you for this bit is sometimes trying to clean inside these crevices, I'm gonna call them, can be quite a pain. So I'm gonna show you here, this is some sugar. And I'm gonna put that here. Just to, just to show you, and I'm gonna get it right in those creases, like this. So all the sugar's now in, and we've got this attachment. Now, admittedly, when I opened it, I was thinking, what the hell is this attachment for? And I'm not sure if this is what this attachment is for. Let me know what it is specifically for, but I have found this is quite good for inside there, and you'll be able to suck it out. So let me connect it up, and I will show you.
But what I just did can be made completely redundant because if I sprinkle all the sugar back in here like so, and then I just have like the vacuum like this and I turn it on, it will just suck all of this straight up. So, So what I'm going to do now is show you this as an actual wet vac. So what I've got here is two bits of tissue on the side and this is my test vac. So what I'm going to do is pour this all over it so that it's soaking wet and I'll prove to you it's soaking wet and then I'll use the wet vac to suck up the water. So I'm going to pour this straight on here like so, so it's completely soaked and I've got the tissue under there just to show you it going through, show you I'm not lying, the mat is now completely soaked. Now we'll get this bit of tissue here. This will be the test piece. So look, I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to press it down and you can see the tissue is soaking wet. So let's get the wet vac and let's suck out the water. So as I said, because I'm using it as a wet vac, I've taken the filter out and I've taken the bag out as well. So the drum is empty. So I can switch it on. Just from those couple fly paths, let's see how much water actually came out of that. And now that is pretty impressive, considering that was completely drenched. As you see, you know, the tissue underneath is completely soaked. And just from two passes I think I done, I got most of the water out. So if you sat there and you cleaned this properly and you vacuumed it properly, you would completely get this dry. So yeah, the wet vac is very good at sucking the water out of carpet. Admittedly, I have had the wet vac for a few weeks and I have been playing around with it to see what intestinal stuff I can do with it. But what I have seen is that you don't just have to suck up water with it. So like for this mat, I can spray it up with this foam, which is the Auto Glim High Foam Interior Shampoo, which isn't bad stuff. And then you can grab your brush. You know, this is on a gun, but you can do it by hand if you want. And give it a good old scrub. I'm only doing this for the for the sake of the video, by the way. And we can go ahead and we can just suck it straight up with the wet vac. All I'm really showing here is that you don't have to just suck up water with it. You can suck up any other detergents with it and it should be fine. Although it is a bit messy, as you can see here. But that is a really foamy shampoo, so you might not need to do it as bad as that. However, it can't always be smooth sailing. So as you can see, this is where I just did that test with the mat and there's the DeWalt bag and the gun as well. But if I look down here and I come down, we can see that the connection on the bottom here is dripping, as you can see, and it is dripping onto the floor. It's not really a problem because you can just give it a wipe, but just to show you that this isn't completely watertight you know so it will have a few drips i'm presuming just the angle that you pull see look if i pull that you get more drips come out of it so the more you pull it the more likely the chances are that you will have a drip coming out of the connector hose right so we are back outside on this bitterly cold day and what i've got here is two b and q buckets but my b and q buckets are full of water and what i'm going to show you is how quickly this wet vac can suck up the water so are you ready i'm going to turn it on and again the filter and the bag isn't in it because we're using it as a wet bag. Remember that, okay? So, ready? Let's go. So, what was that? 10 seconds and, all right, there is a little bit at the bottom, but that has literally emptied two bean q buckets in about 10 seconds. So the suction on it is quite impressive, actually. So I've just moved it to the other side of the garden, and as you can see, that is a wet vac full of water. But the clever clogs over at the wall have only gone and given us a solution to get the water out. And you see this? This is a water bung. So when we unscrew it, all the water comes out. Just like that. Very clever. So the water is now finished draining from the bung, and you would expect that this is now empty. But you would have thought wrong, because if I lean this forward a fraction, you will still see that loads more water still comes out. 
And the reason that there's more water still coming out is because although they were clever giving you a bung, this is the bottom of the drum here, and this is the plug. So you still have this much water still in there. Now I'm not complaining about it, I'm not really moaning, I'm just saying they put a good idea in, but <laughs> it's not a good idea because they haven't done it properly. So, sorry to walk, good idea but could have been executed better. So we are currently out in the garden, and as you can see, due to it being winter, the tree at the end of my garden is dropping all of its leaves. Now, this isn't a problem, because where this is a pretty powerful vacuum, I can just put the hose on the front and I can suck it all up, which is pretty good. But, this wet vac has a party piece. If we turn it round and we put this on here, it is now a blower. So if I turn it on, it will actually blow the leaves, which I will show you. Obviously, I know this isn't the reason you are going to be buying one of these wet vacs, but it's cool just to show you. So we get these all Blown them all into the corner like that, you just unclip it, whack it on the front, turn it back on. And then it does do that though. When I was sucking up the leaves with it, I actually took the filter out of it, just in case. The only problem if you do use it to suck up leaves, which I don't think you should do, I'm just doing it just because it's my video and I can, but uh, you do fill the bag up pretty quickly. So just bear that in mind if you want to use your wet vac as a leaf sucker and blower. So something else you can do with this, this is half a bottle of water and this is one of the dog's hedgehogs. Squeaky hedgehogs. And if you put that in here like so, you can use this wet vac as a, um, a gun. So we've got it on the blow setting and I'm gonna shoot this um, bottle of water. And a miss. Aha! There you go. So it's a, it's a wet vac, it's a leaf blower and sucker, and sometimes you can use it to shoot a uh, fluffy hedgehog across your garage to shoot a bottle of water. Right, let's do something else with it. To be fair, the blower setting is actually quite strong. So if we use the smallest attachment, therefore giving us the most powerful blast, it can actually push this box along. This is a full bottle of water, so it should be a bit harder. The water was far too easy. So instead I've got a Mrs. Elwood pickled sweet cucumber sandwich slices. Try again. A big bag of microfiber cloths. All right, so the last one I'm doing. This is a wok. Let's try this. Long story short, the uh, air blower setting on it is pretty powerful. So if you ever, ever want to slide across a wok, some microfiber cloths, a bottle of water, a jar of gherkins, or a box, then get yourself one of these. So what are the pros and the cons of this DeWalt wet vac? And it only really has two downsides, but the two downsides are, this thing is so noisy. If you're using the Hetty at home, your neighbor might hear you. If you're using this indoors at home, the whole road will hear you, it's that loud. But admittedly, it has got such better performance that that's the sacrifice you pay. It's noisier, but it has a better performance. The other downside, which is more of the off-putting one, is it sheer size? This is 70 centimeters tall. And if you want to store it like this with the hose wrapped up, I believe this is the correct way using the strap and the accessory bag on the back. This is also 70 centimeters wide. So you do need to find a decent place to put this because of how big it is. I mean, comparing it to the Hetty, the Hetty is only 36 centimeters tall. It's pretty much circular as well. So it's also about 36 centimeters wide. So they are the two downsides of this, of this wet bag, but it has got Quite a few good things about it. Now I would probably say that this has got five good points about it and the five points are that this online right now is what you could get it for is £90 but if you wanted to buy like something like the Hetty, the Hetty is £160 even though this is actually the better vacuum cleaner so therefore it is actually quite a good price. It's also surprisingly light even though it's 
double the size of the Hitty, it's actually lighter. Don't ask me how that works. That must be just cheated because this is basically an empty drum when you haven't got it filled up with stuff. So it's actually surprisingly light. Obviously it is a vacuum cleaner and obviously it is a wet vac as well. So there's four good reasons to get it. But this party piece is, it uses the exhaust port <laughs> as a blower. So it has actually got five really good points to it and it is very good. So yeah, there are the five good points about this wet vac. So the million dollar question, should you buy one? If you are looking for a wet vac and you know you want a wet vac, then 100%, get yourself one of these. Absolute bargain for what it can do. And it still gets a special shout out for how easy it rolls. But you need to think before getting one, do you 100% need one of these? Because in all honesty, I'm not really gonna have much use for the blower use on it. I'm only really gonna clean my car mats not very often, it'll only when they actually get dirty, but I clean it quite often so they're not that bad. So just keep asking yourself, do you specifically need one? If you need one, get one, but do your research first to find out if you require a wet vac or you could just get away with using a normal vacuum cleaner. So that's my conclusion. If you want a wet vac, 100% get it, but do your research before getting one because you might not necessarily need one. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching.